Hey guys, Nick here from Nick's Taxes, and today I'm going to show you how to enter in your SERB income on TurboTax. So if you're filing your own taxes, this is how you enter in your SERB. Now, taxes are due at the end of April 2021, so you have some time, but I want to show you how to do this yourself if you are planning uh, to do taxes yourself. This is the free version of TurboTax. There's many other tax softwares out there that you can use, but this is uh, one of the more popular ones. So I'm going to show you how to do this on TurboTax. If you have any questions, let me know. If you get value out of this, give it a thumbs up. Appreciate you guys. So I'm on here an income summary page, and this is just a dummy tax return, but you're going to hit add. And like I said before, the T4, or sorry, the SERB and EI show up on what's called a T4A and a T4E slip. The most common ones that we're going to see issued from the government is going to be the T4A. So I'm going to type in T4A to get me to the T4A slip. And there it is there. I'm going to hit go. So here's the T4A summary and I'm going to enter in a new T4A. So this is the T4A page and you have the option to enter in the employer's name or payer's name and then see all these boxes these boxes are also what's on the t4a so you're going to take a look at in what boxes the income is reported on that t4a slip and report it on TurboTax. so it's very simple you're just basically matching numbers to numbers here so say box 22 is income tax deducted find out if there's anything in that section on the T4A slip that you received. Let's say you received, you know, you got some income tax deducted, let's say it was $100, you're going to put $100 there. And say box 18, lump sum payments, maybe you that's where the SERB was, maybe it was, you know, $2,000. Bam, you enter in that number there. So once you're done entering in that T4 slip, you're going to hit done with T4A. And then you're done with that T4A slip. If you have a second T4A slip, you're going to hit enter new T4A. And then you can enter in all the T4A slips that you have, but you have to do one at a time. Okay. But that is how you enter in your T4A and your T4E is the exact same. But if you have SERB, that's what it's going to look like using the free version of TurboTax. Again, I'm Nick from Nick's Taxes. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And give me a thumbs up. Just shows uh, that you got value out of this. Helps my channel a lot. Appreciate you guys. And as always, happy taxing.